a scientific path in understanding the world around us total energy of a system total momentum of a system remains constant there is no chance that you can create energy nor destroy energy mass energy relation e is equal to mc square hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore the previous session we start discussing about a preview chapter what i called it as a fundamental chapter physical world and it is in this chapter we made a concise effort to understand the nature of the world around us and more emphatically it is to understand the nature of the physical world around us where we actually learnt what is science where we actually learnt the scope of science what is physics the contribution of physics to the development of technology betterment of the human world if you recall we told science is the systematic study of things around us or equivalently it is a systematic acquiring of knowledge around us science is not half a zod it is not chaotic it is well disciplined and therefore starting from the elementary understanding the primary we go to the concepts which are complex in nature a scientific path in understanding the world around us and we told physics is nothing but fuses the word physics is extracted from the word fuses which means in greek nature and we told physics is to basically understand the interaction of force with matter we understood the different domains of physics on the macroscopic scale we understood optics electrodynamics where the principles of electricity and dynamics were merged thermodynamics mechanics and on the microscopic level we understood the modern physics cryogenic physics quantum physics quantum optics and so on continuing my discussion today we shall understand something about physical laws and the nature of the physical laws now students if we go back to the prehistoric period the stone ages to 
the period of revolutions, the great French revolution, Italian revolution, Mussolini, to the green culture civilization of India to Japan and to the modern world of missiles and nuclear weapons. It is acquiring knowledge which has been a primary aim of human beings. Every walk of life starting to use stones as weapons with the use of bow and arrows, single barrel guns, machine guns, war tankers, Italian Uzis to this day of nuclear weapons, man has thrived to acquire knowledge. And any betterment of humanity has taken place only because of knowledge. Knowledge which is called as Vijnan in Sanskrit and what is called as Ilm in the Arabic language. Vijnan means knowledge in Sanskrit. Ilm means knowledge in Arabic. So you see, the center focus of any civilization, any culture has been the foci called knowledge. Now, understanding something called as the nature of physical laws. Now, what are these physical laws? Human being has been continuously experimenting on himself and on nature. Sometimes it has been erratic. Sometimes it has been trial and error. Sometimes it has been properly formulated and at the end the results have been accomplished through something called as scientific observations. So my dear students, the key to understand any physical phenomenon, the key to operate and experiment on a physical phenomenon and to formulate scientific results depends upon something called scientific observation where you need scientific analysis, where you need proper mathematical models, where you need proper logical reasonings and then scientific acceptance and all these things are put together to call scientific method or scientific observations. And these observations lead to a set of laws, what we call as physical laws. Now if you observe, 
there are certain quantities which do not change with respect to time. Mass, energy, momentum and so on. These are physical quantities which are invariant with respect to time. They don't change with respect to time. At any instant of time, quantities like mass, total energy of a system, total momentum of a system remains constant. And these quantities are called conserved quantities. What are these quantities called? Conserved quantities. And the laws based on them are called conservation laws. So conserved quantities, physical quantities, we do not change with respect to time. And the laws based on them are called as, yes, the conserved laws of conservation laws. Now, there are four conservation laws. The first one is called the law of conservation of energy. Have we taken up this concept seriously? Very much yes. Where we have understood work power energy. We have told the total energy of a system isolated system is conserved. We told energy cannot be created. Energy cannot be destroyed but can be transferred from one form to another. So one of the most basic Conservation law in physics is conservation of energy. There is no chance that you can create energy nor destroy energy. Mechanical energy of an isolated system always remains constant. But energy can be transformed from one form to another. This is because of the existence of four basic forces in nature. We say there are four fundamental forces. The first one is called the gravitational force. This is the most weakest force. We understood this in the gravitation chapter, gravitational force. We study about the electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, and fourth, the weak nuclear force. So these are the four fundamental forces of nature. Gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force. Now, the second one, a very important one called as conservation of mass. Very clearly we know again, mass cannot be created nor destroyed. 
ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ which told mass cannot be created nor destroyed now there was a phenomenon called beta decay next year you will completely understand this it is called internucleon conversion due to some change a neutron gets converted into a proton and a proton getting converted into a neutron simple i write skeletally don't worry about a nuclear reaction next year you will learn clearly about this a neutron getting converted into a proton with the emission of an electron very interestingly in this phenomenon conservation of mass was not valid at all there was something called conservation of spin yes true angular momentum true parity true but conservation of mass whatever people did they could not establish the conservation of mass they went to an extent where they told can we put a question mark on the principle of conservation of mass then came a person called pauli who told in this reaction there is an anti particle emitted small particle anti neutrino whose rest mass is zero and it is this anti neutrino which was carrying away the missing mass so with this existence of anti neutrino or neutrino according to the nature of dk conservation of mass holds good again it was taught mass and energy are two different terms they cannot be equated they cannot be expressed in one form but mr einstein says through his relativity mass energy relation e is equal to mc square where energy is expressed in terms of mass and mass in terms of energy so therefore in the entire study of physics the study of fundamentals of physics conservation of mass plays a very very important role then conservation of linear momentum as well as conservation of angular momentum both of this we have told loss of motion straight line motion if the external force acting on a particle acting on a system exhibiting linear motion is zero then linear momentum is conserved what is force in angular momentum torque if the external torque acting on a system is zero angular momentum remains constant so conservation of either linear momentum or angular momentum again becomes a very important result in the study of physics again conservation of charge 
you will understand next year in electrostatics charge is the basic property of matter because of which matter exhibits electrical phenomena either repulsion or attraction is because of this charge again students charges cannot be created nor destroyed they can be simply transferred from one body to another this is a very basic law of nature you cannot create charges you cannot destroy charges but they can be transferred from one body to another so you understood today a set of physical laws maybe conservation of mass energy momentum charge which ideally correlates saying that any physical phenomenon is valid when there is conserved physical quantities so my dear students in my next class i come up with contribution of physics to this society development of technology until then have a nice time thank you